Greetings, viewers, and welcome to 1.0. I know some of you may have already had access to this or played it yourself or watched other people play it on Steam. Unfortunately, I am playing it on Microsoft, so I did not have any access to it, and thankfully it worked out with the timing. I got my uh, Day 7000 Horde done on Turn Up. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that series, and I wanted to jump into this one, which I'm going to call Switch It Up, and I'll explain why that is. We're going to go through the rules and jump into the game. So... Originally, when 1.0 launched, I wanted to just start back over and do my single stat series. I kind of enjoyed that. I liked having to focus on certain things and leaving other stuff out and making do. So I didn't want to rehash something I've already done. I thought about doing another turn up. Since it is random, the dice could be different every time we do it. But I had an idea that I got from when I used that forgetting elixir and reset my points in the turn up series. And I thought, why not make a single stat series where we have to switch it up every day instead of every horde night and basically at the beginning of every episode we're going to drink a learning elixir and whatever day it is we can only put points into a single skill tree so for the first day that we're going to jump into the only thing we can put points into is perception the second episode we're going to have to drink a forgetting elixir i'm just going to go into creative mode and give them to myself so that'll be how we get our hands on those and then that way Every day we're going to have a different stat, which is going to be fun too, because every single time a horde rolls around, we should be on a different stat. I haven't tried to do the math ahead of time to see what days are going to be what, but I believe that the numbers should line up and we should have a different stat every time. Now, I did get some flack on each of my stat videos with people complaining and saying that I was doing the challenge wrong. I'm not sure how I was doing my own challenge wrong, but I digress. And essentially, based what people were saying is they were calling me out because I was using a bow or some other weapon that wasn't part of that stat line. I had a shotgun and it was the agility series, whatever. So what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and limit the equipment, basically, that I use on the specific day for the stats. So, for example, for scrapping on Perception Day, using a wrench to do that, I think uh, that's fair because that is a specific piece of equipment that's designed to do that. But... I don't know how nitty gritty I want to get as far as can I not harvest resources unless it's the strength day because I'll have to use minor 69er and mother load. So then does that mean I can't jump on agility day because that requires agility? Like uh, how far do we really go with this? So it may be kind of a work in progress. I'm going to try and hold myself accountable. We're not going to use a bow unless it's agility day. And we're not going to use a rocket launcher unless it's perception day kind of stuff. And uh, we'll kind of play it by ear and see what happens with that. I will probably end the series once we have accumulated enough points that we have maxed out every stat, and then maybe once we fight a horde with each stat maxed out, we'll uh, we'll kind of play it by ear. I have an idea for a horde base I want to do. We'll get into that when the time comes. I've probably talked enough. Let's go ahead and look at the screen on here instead of just showing you uh, a thumbnail of what the settings are. So obviously we're offline. We have no need to play with other people because this is a solo challenge. The difficulty is on Nomad, 100% XP, 60 minute days. Seven day blood moon frequency, max enemies, same speed I always put them at, walk, jog, run, sprint. Feral sense is off because I think it's just stupid and awful. You can't get anything done at nighttime. Airdrops are every three days. I want to see what kind of loot we get from those. I debated turning them off altogether, but I just want to see what the airdrops have for us in the new update. Uh, everything's at 100%. Loot respawn is disabled this time. Death penalty is permanent death. And uh, creative mode's on. I gave myself a primitive mask with a helmet light. So I don't know why that's still on because maybe when I turned it on, it kicked that over. I maxed out the daily quest progression limit because that's just stupid to limit that. The highest you can go is eight. So that's what we set it at. And multiplayer, I put on no killing. But again, it doesn't matter. Nobody should be coming in our game. So the map that we're playing on is a custom 8,000 whatever map. Uh, I made an even distribution of all the biomes, so it was like 20%, 19 for some, 22 for another. Uh, so all the biomes should be included, which means we should have at least one of each trader in the world. So uh, let's just shut up and jump into the game. All right. So the initial quests have changed. I'm sure you guys well know. If not, uh, there's no longer just a set of quests that you do. There's special challenges that you have to complete. You have to then redeem. So we're going to go ahead and do this stuff. Get that knocked out. Figure out where the trader is. So 
So like I said, I don't, I don't want to get too bogged down with rules and, oh, I can't pick that up. I can't use that I, uh, because it's not this day. I will definitely stick with the different weapons. So if it's fortitude day, we're going to be using knuckles. If it's perception day, we're using spears. That's, that's obvious. The firearms that are corresponding with said stat are also going to be uh, used. And again, we'll play it by ear. So the idea that I have for my base, I have no idea how I'm going to do it or where I'm going to set it up, but I kind of want to do a floating base with a big pit and uh, same little elevated walkway like we normally do. And when the zombies fall, instead of just a shallow pit they can get out of, I want them in a giant ass hole that they can't get out of. And eventually over time, so deep that the cops either can't see me to spit or they can't reach me with their spit. Monsters exploding won't matter. We can just huck dynamite at them for all we care and uh, all will be well in the world. So again, that's way in the future. We are not even close to building our horde base quite yet. So uh, we'll get to that when we get to it. Let's uh, again get this initial tasks knocked out. So we're going to craft the club because we have to as part of the challenge, but we are not going to use it today. Same thing with the bow. And feathers. So we're just going to leave these up here. We do need to make a spear. changed all the uh, sound effects for moving stuff around in your inventory, so that'll take some getting used to. Grab some more plant fibers, because we might as well go ahead and make a whole set of primitive armor. So what we can do is we can just craft the hood now and then I'll throw it on the ground since I gave it to myself for free. I guess it was kind of pointless to uh, give myself that, but the headlight mod that's in it is already installed. So as you can see, here we are. We have this, and that's all I gave myself before uh, we got into it here. So we need resources. That was the hood we threw on the... Uh, all right, so... Challenge window. Holy cow, look at all these. All right, we did a whole group. We got a bunch of XP. Did we get... Okay, thank you. Did we get points? We did. We got our four uh, skill points we're used to. So again, today is all perception. Beginning of next episode, the very first thing we're going to do... Drink a forget an elixir, and we're going to redistribute all those points into the strength tree. So we're basically going to have to keep our eyes out for everything. We're going to read every book. We're going to keep every weapon that we can. And uh, probably what I'll do is I will make a special box for each day. And then when that day rolls around, I'll just grab all the things out of it once we get set up. Um, so usually what I like to do is I like to get out ahead of the stats that require uh, this many points and that. We're going to go ahead and upgrade that. And I guess Lucky Looter, since it's day one, we're going to be wanting to grab as much crap as we can. Uh, 287 meters, I'd say that's pretty damn good. We are in the green grass biome, so I believe that's Trader Wrecked. I don't remember specifically which traders are in which biome, but they are specific now. So if you were to play a game that's only Wasteland, you are stuck with only Trader Jen, I believe. I mean, are you really stuck with her? Come on. Or she's stuck with you. I'm just going to grab stuff as I go. Probably good on stone. Definitely want to get my hands on some more wood. Just whack those things as we run past them. We're really close to the trader. Just like uh, I feel like we were in the turn up series too. Trader Rick was pretty much right there. and There he is. Go see that old grumpy bastard and find out what he's up to. Uh, let's 
check this car. And so, yeah, like, should I not be allowed to barter with the traders unless it's in elect day? Or should I not be allowed to do quests unless it's in elect day? I, I, I don't know. That's, that seems a little too specific. I could. I would just probably screw up every now and again because I forgot and have to remember, try to do better the next time. All right, what do we got? Oh, there we go. Look at that. We can already make a dew collector. So I think we need a whole lot of plastic parts for that. I'm going to keep everything, uh, including rotten flesh at this point, because if we make some farm plots in the future, uh, that probably would be beneficial to us. Usually in the beginning, usually in the beginning of a series, I collect every single thing I can find. Let's get real. I generally collect everything I find throughout the whole series. However, I am even more worse of a loot goblin towards the beginning because I have nothing to my name. Oh, look at that. We got an anvil already. And we can't even make a forge. Uh, I check this truck, maybe, and that's about it. Again, we're going to read every single book. I don't care what it's for. What's up, dickhead? Make it snappy. I Stone shovel, hell yeah, brother. Special jobs. Intro buried supplies. Do you don't that's what why you give me the shovel. Don't you no, that's the only quest you can do. This. Huh. So he doesn't even send us to a POI that we can do anything with. Like, if he sent us to a POI, we could uh, make it. Wow! Did they give him new voice lines? What a dick! And I thought he was bad before. I haven't seen a zombie yet. I feel like it's usually like that in the beginning. They try and take it easy on you. Um, we're gonna have to figure out where we're gonna live. Uh, that'd be cool to live on top of the bridge and build a house up there, but. I can't really dig a pit into the water. I don't know that that would work very well. Uh, I'm going to get this tree out of my way. Well, that took a little while, but uh, we got some wood out of it at least. Found it. Our first zombies! Probably gonna take us 30 minutes to kill him. What's up, homie? You got that premium skin! I forgot they changed the uh zombies, so now that they have alternate uh appearances. Alright, well, one kill's good enough, right? We gotta figure out where we're gonna live. What's up, buddy? You don't like me stabbing your friend in the head? Big oofs. Let's go ahead and check these cars on our way over. Oh, uh, well, we can't check that one. So I have Lucky Looter on. I'm allowed to loot this time, right? Like, is that allowed? Can I do that? I don't think I would be able to keep up and remember that I'm not allowed to do certain things because it's a specific day that would just drive me absolutely bananas like if i unlock the motorcycle schematic on perception day and i have to wait till intellect day to craft it like come on now how how detailed are we getting here i know some people are pretty hardcore about stuff so you can let me know down below what you think uh i should and should not be allowed to do on specific stat days well, look here, boys. Hey. We got ourselves a real life hero. And well, now, he oh, it comes with extra shit. Okay, well, hold on. Stand by. 
Oh, this comes with ammo. All right. Uh, I guess we'll just do that. I was going to say I was going to get this because that would probably take longer to craft and get my hands on the stuff for, but we'll just do this. Let's see where the clear zombies is. Probably not going to live at Jerry's Phil. I was going to say if he has us cleared out. Shut up, Rex. Stop trying to be a hard ass. Anyway, I was going to say if it's a decent POI, see what's around it and where it is. We can just clear it out for the mission, but then also turn it into our base. Let's go ahead and get this loaded up in the event we need it. Run right into a dog or something crazy. We're definitely not going to pass up a chance to loot a mailbox. Or another mailbox. Hey. I don't even know what we read for the 44, but we read it. Is that brown truck? Hey. It's under construction. Huh. I thought it was a uh, truck that hadn't rendered the graphics on the side of it, but I guess they have dingy looking trucks now. Um, hmm. I am intrigued by this. Look at all these resources here we could easily dig up. And hmm. I wonder if we could live here and use the construction area as our base. We could fix that up, right? That's a that's what it's do they're doing here. That's a fixer upper. Excuse you. I was in the middle of brainstorming here. You got the premium skin too, huh? Night night. Anyway, uh hmm. Maybe we can use part of this as our uh board base. We can live in that. And we can fix it up as we go. That'll be part of our uh, quote-unquote challenge. Uh, let's go ahead and craft one of these. Let's craft a bedroll. Could be bad. Where's she at? Right there. Definitely don't want her screaming a lot. Why are we gotta scream her so early? Okay, well I'm glad he got distracted and just decided to stand on a table and start punching shit. So I don't know, I feel like that's a cool idea. The house is under construction, we can just make it whatever we want. And then we can eventually tear up that scaffolding and we'll put the land claim block inside. We completed a challenge. Look at that. Completed a bunch of challenges, apparently. Not even sure what, but we completed them. Uh, we need to put our bedroll down. Well, we don't need to, but I'm going to put my bedroll down. That was apparently another challenge. So then that way, the zombies we already killed, such as the Screamer... Guessing she's a permanent fixture and pops out of there. Uh, we can just come back and work on it as we please. I'm going to go ahead and shove a bunch of shit in this dumpster that we're not going to need. That way we're not over encumbered. Let's go ahead and get this mission knocked out. And then uh, we'll see what time it is and maybe start clearing out our house. So we can get some storage down and start getting established. We are definitely going to loot every mailbox. Because reading magazines this early in the game is super helpful. Especially when we know nothing. Any little thing helps, you know? Hey, a spear book. Uh, let's go ahead and make a better spear. Just 
scrap that one. We want to be using the best equipment we can. Especially early on, we are weak AF. So we needed to have every advantage on our side possible. I guess Jerry's fill is collapsing, falling apart. Looks like it's right next to a hotel. Like literally right on top of it. I can imagine as close as we are to these surrounding POIs, we're probably going to attract some attention from outside. Let's go ahead and get it started real quick. I won't double loot. No, couldn't if I wanted to. Should have looted it when I had the chance. Hello, I'm here for some blinker fluid. Yeesh. There'll only be one in there. Oof, that looks painful. So, so tough in the beginning. So as precise as the spear is, I can't hit this clown through the little hole in the door. I don't understand. What am I doing wrong? Besides using a spear. Oh, there we go. We got him that time. We're winning. Apparently we figured it out. He wallered out a hole, as they say. Does a spear cause bleed damage? I don't remember. I didn't think I saw any uh, blood splashing off of him. Reading it all. Uh, that means we can make another stone axe. Level two. Taking it all. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give uh, we can take the chair too. Scrap it for leather. Uh, there's a guy up the tower. Should be somebody in here. They're gonna let me sneak attack him, but I'm gonna try, damn sure try. All right, well, there's that. More junk. Hell yeah, brother. There's some junk in that trunk. Uh, I want us to go to the roof. I think there's a guy down here sleeping. Oh, right here sleeping, something like that. Man, he is looking like he's got the old console version skin on. Looking murky. Uh, skill point. Perception only. For today. We can do Lucky Looter again. Go ahead and try and uh, get our hands on some good stuff on day one. I feel like usually on day one they feel bad for you and you have some good loot that you can find. Uh, I didn't loot the shelves in the store. I probably should do that. Of course, yielding nothing good. But hey, it was worth a shot. Is that something? There we go. Look at that murky water. That's what everybody's always raving about, right? Toilet pistol? You. They're asking a lot. All right, this should be the last of our foes up here. I cannot use a bow to attack them, so that's a damn shame. Yep. There went the element of surprise. Focus on green hoodie guy and get him down. I only have to worry about one person. Just like that. Let's get some stamina back. Got 
Back up, Terry. I do not consent. Be nice when we max out all the spear books and uh, get our stamina back for kills. Hey, there we go. All right, let's get this loot. Ten percent more damage. Hell yeah, brother! And a blueberry pie. Uh, let's go ahead and eat that. Eat the shotgun a nine mil, but we can't use it today. Uh, I thought there was somebody in that tower over there. Oh, but there's loot! I know there's stuff in that shipping container. It's over here. Glue is always useful. Ooh, that's a good find. Hell yeah, brother. It's always nice to have a uh, standby antibiotic. Let's go ahead and grab some extra plastic parts. Scrap that. Oops. All right, let's get back to wrecked. Those power truck there, those are usually pretty good to loot. So let's do that and then head to wreck. Hey, look at that. We might as well search the dumpster that's next to it. Perfect. Free cement mixer. Look at that. Crafting stations. Wrench? Wouldn't that be epic on day one? Armor parts are good. We need those to craft any armor, so we will not be getting rid of those. Let's go ahead and drop stuff off first. All right, so I think what we'll do is we'll go ahead and turn in and then we'll go back and clear out our house. See how far we get and then maybe put down some storage and start seeing what we need to make a dew collector. Speaking of that, let's go ahead and drink. We are thirsty with an F. What well, make it snappy? I gotta take a crap. Ow. Uh, let's do lock picks. I'm gonna grab a job. Well, come to think of it, I do have a task for a low life like you. That's not the house we're at, right? Better not be. Well, good luck. By the looks of it, you're gonna need it. All right. Uh, what else do we need to do here? Craft building blocks, place building blocks. Oh, we can do all that tonight. Uh, again, I hope that's not the house. I don't think it was. It's called something else. We're not going to go to it. We're going to go clear our house out first. It's already three o'clock. Oh, there are neighbors. So we did run past this place to get here. Gonna loot their truck before we come back and actually end up doing the mission. You can use the truck for storage too. place is a real fixer-upper, you know? It's only a one-star, so there really shouldn't be too many zombies here. Too many zombies, and there's two. Plus the screamer that apparently jumped out of here. Sorry, lady. Oh, boy, still hasn't woken up. But he's going to wake up the second I approach him. So, there's that. Who didn't see that coming? All right. What do 
we got? Not a whole lot up here, that's for sure. There's some iron pipes that we need. I think you get plastic parts from boxes? Yeah. I don't know if we're going to get a hundred. Might be asking a lot. Uh, crawler, that guy. Is there not another way to get in there? I'm not going to get trapped in a room with these guys. I think it's metal. Uh, are you in here? I'm guessing not. No, of course you're a looky-loo from outside. Nosy little Dennis the Menace over here. Hey, of course you would wake up. The guy that I can't reach. Are you going to stick your head through the door so I can stab it? All right. All right, so we will probably live upstairs. You son of a bitch. We took our first zombie damage. Apparently stabbing a uh, crawler in his entrails is not it. That's uh, that's not the meta. All right, I should have just bashed through the door because the combined hit points for all three of these things uh, would have been better. Hey, there we go. Now we do have an out. If I had known that, I would have jumped down and pushed the button. What's up, homie? So anyway, what I was saying is uh, we'll probably live upstairs. Really don't care about down here. Maybe we'll make it pretty at some point. First aid is good. It's definitely not going to be pretty at first. It's going to be a pretty ghetto-tastic base. What is this? A bicycle chassis? Hell yeah, brother! Uh, should we put our storage down here? Living space upstairs, workstations down here maybe? How about that? Why don't we do that? And this only makes wood. Let's, uh... Let's just go ahead and make 10 storage boxes. We'll see how high we can stack them. Uh, yeah, I don't want them on... I like to put them up where the zombies can't hit them. So at least one level higher. I wanted to do five. So one for each stat day. Uh, of course, the floor is in the way. five all right look at that we got all of our stats um so i'll put like the shotgun in the strength box and spears in the perception and we'll just organize it that way so that way i don't get confused about what tool goes with what so when we start the episode i can just grab all the equipment and swap out probably no need to upgrade these past wood because we're probably not going to need more space than that the other storage containers we use will uh definitely get upgraded perhaps i should knock out these shelves yeah we got 10 in a row then what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and grab the crap from the truck and the dumpster and start stuffing it in boxes. All right. So let's go ahead and craft the campfire real quick. Put that down. So I've got just five generic uh, containers, the quickest things I could label and stuff some boxes into. We've got our stat boxes. There was a couple things left in the dumpster I'm going to grab. Obviously, we can't build a forge yet. We can make a dew collector, but we don't have the resources quite yet. So what I want to do is I want to go ahead and track that. Because we need duct tape pipes and plastic parts. Pick up the bedroll. I'm going to place it upstairs. I guess it, I think the only purpose of it is to have a spawn location. So it's probably completely unnecessary. But I've also been told it has something to do with zombie spawns. So I'm going to use it. All right, one of the challenges was to place a torch. So let's go ahead and stick that up on the wall. We need to craft a block. I feel like we might as well fill in the spots that we broke. That's some cobblestone. All right. So 
What's this one? Place a door. Uh... Let us place it there, so look at that. Put that there. I'm sure we'll probably run into it more than the zombies will. Alright. Not sure what we get for that. We definitely need uh, a lot more plastic parts. I don't know if breaking this is going to give us that. So at this point, I don't think we're going to get to our mission, which is fine. It'll give us a chance to clean up around here. See what else we missed. I'm probably uh, other zombies sleeping like this guy. Probably not going to sneak up on him. Not very still. I'll just stab him in the cheeks for the hell of it. Did they put zombies in porta potties? Not this time. But this has plastic parts. Yep. Uh, hello. All right. Well, there's that. We uh, we definitely got to get some hydration going. Probably should have checked Rex's vending machine, seeing if he had something to drink. That might be a smart plan before he closes for the night. Um, I think I forgot. He has some loot somewhere, doesn't he? That I did not check. Before I go buy some drink and he's got something hidden in a disc. Whoa. A murky water. Hey, asshole, you bet. Now that you did the job, I oh, guess okay. you ain't that damn bad after all. Sure. Can you figure out a way to purify water? I don't really know what that includes, but that's convenient. I already have a job from him. Try anything smart. And you'll get a new start. Oh, that was so clever. 34 water. Uh, I have two or 400 coins, so we can definitely buy one of those. Oh, the cooking pot's 600. We wouldn't have been able to afford it anyway. Now you can go fuck yourself. Oh, this guy. Man. Oh, we should have come here. I really hate spending coin on that, but I don't want to die of thirst. All right, let's see if we can find some more plastic parts. I don't know that we're going to get to 100. Let's finish checking around the outside of our house. Why is this already so beat up? And it is officially nighttime. That was a quick day, even though we started at four o'clock. All right, well, we're getting closer to that hundred. We could probably start peeking our nose in here. Um, the only problem is, is if we activate it, we're not going to be able to go back home. That doesn't mean we can't loot prior to activating it.
Go ahead and scrap that since we've already got one. Yo, kid, you better chill the fuck out, bro. Fucking A. That's not good. Run up here and close this door. Holy shit, that was scary. Let's go ahead and get this reloaded. So apparently we probably should not have been out. I thought Feral Sense wasn't on. Old boy came running from a while away. Oh shit, man. He found a way up here quick as fuck, bro. Dude! Chill! Got him, but that gun's definitely gonna attract some other attention we probably don't want. God damn it. Trying to keep my stamina up. I'm glad we found that antibiotic when we did. We definitely need to fix their uh, ability to get up there. That could have been really bad. Let's go ahead and use that. We got an ouchie boo boo. Uh, we need to stop them from getting up this. All right. So that should eliminate them from trying to get up there via our ladder. The only way they should get upstairs is through these stairs, which hopefully they'll get stuck on anyway. They come to the door and bust a hole in it. We'll stab them in the face. If that starts becoming a problem, we can actually just wall that up and make it a fighting position or put it. You can actually put a hatch there and make a fighting position. Let's just go ahead and do that. Make it easier for everybody involved here. And that way they come to fight up here. They're in a limited position and uh, we'll see how that goes. Probably horribly, I'm sure. All right, so we got the murky water in there for when we find a cooking pot. I don't know if the house that we're going to do has a cooking pot. I'm not familiar with it. I hear a snake. Probably want to kill that. Get some meat. What's up, buddy? Hell yeah, brother. The only thing we can make right now is charred meat, but uh, that sure as hell is better than eating nothing. We're not uh, the Lost Boys eating imaginary food over here. We did get a skill point before. Let's go ahead and put it in Spear Master. We don't have a whole lot of time left, but anybody we encounter, we should be able to do a little bit more damage to. Come on, drink. Uh, I don't think we want to drink that for hydration. Just a guess. We have 99 plastic parts. Really? Might as well go ahead and get some extras. That way, uh, when we use them all for the Dew Collector, we still have some. I don't know if we have any duct tape. We have glue. 
And I'm pretty sure we looted some cloth. There's a doghouse there, so I definitely want to tread lightly around that place. A single shot rifle is not going to cut it. Can make two. It's two more than we had. This gives us health, water, and food. We are just going to go ahead and use that before we get too far behind. I do need to make a trader box. I feel like we should put one up over here. This is going to be our cell box. Probably never going to use that. Even for the fortitude with melee damage, I don't, I don't honestly think we're going to use it. Uh, I do not have this POI memorized. I think we're going to smash this door in and see what's here. Uh, they do have some food. We are definitely going to loot that. Cornbread, better than nothing. Really sucks not being able to shoot arrows at people's faces from a distance. Oh. That strategy didn't work. Fail over the railing. Heard you swing and miss. Oof. So I was hoping what happened so I can get a cheap shot in on him. And loot the kitchen and see what else is here. Maybe find some cooking books. Coffee grounds could be good for another time. Uh, we can't make coffee right now. We can make grilled corn and baked potatoes, so that's a thing. If I don't want to drink that. It's not Kool-Aid. Least of all the vanilla variety. We got a headlamp, but we're not even using it. All right, catch me outside. How about that? Nurse Jackie in her new uh, scrub outfit here. Oof. Yikes. There was a bookshelf in there, so we're definitely looting that. I'm not ashamed to double loot, so there's that. And if you are, then, well, just cover your eyes. Like when a kissing scene comes on or something and your parents cover your face watching a movie. Kissing, wink, wink. Any armor? No parts, that's cool. No, uh, none of the new armor sets, huh? So we need cloth. That is not cloth. So we can take apart the couches. So the only reason that I have not activated the mission and gone through it, I know that probably seems kind of cheesy, because it's too close to the time for the episode to end, and the beginning of the next episode I need to take a learning elixir. My club and other stuff is at the house. I don't want to have to haul that over here. So... I'm just being cheesy. Hopefully you take mercy on me because it's, you know, the first episode. How many people we can piss off coming down? Just coming down here. Being in the washer and dryer now. There's a kid there. Of course, nothing good to loot. Uh, I take that back. That's good. We don't have our stones or plant fiber with us. We'll have to make that at home. Let's go ahead and head back. It's close enough. We're going to have to call the episode anyway. And there it is. We made it back exactly at 4 o'clock. So I'm going to have to call this episode here, unfortunately. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Had a uh, quite the scare there. I thought the episode was going to end on day one. Little feral boy uh, took matters into his own hand, and thankfully we came out victorious. Anyway, if you made it this far, I appreciate you watching. If you have any constructive criticism or feedback for me, especially with this series going forward, please let me know what you think I should or shouldn't do or could stay away from or what I'm allowed to do and not allowed to do. You guys will be the uh, ruling authority on that, and uh, I'll try and stick to the rules as set. So anyway, I'm going to call it here. If you made it this far, appreciate it, and uh, we'll catch you in the next episode.